Uh, it is nine o'clock, Mom. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Oh, hi, Diana. Diana is telling me that she changed her ID due to spammers. And you think everybody should dream big? I agree. I agree with you, Diana. Dream big. It's a nice saying to go by. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, first Tuesday of the month, and we are still hurtling towards Valentine's Day, which is next Tuesday. So it's one week from today. Hi, Loretta. Hi. Um, so good morning. We're going to do a 3G project today from a very old, I don't say very old, from an older um image set. I think it used to be a cartridge, but I'm not really so sure. Might not be. Anyway, it's a 3D um it's a 3D wagon. I'm having a really hard time calling it what they called it, which is a gypsy valentine cart. I don't know. I just don't think it really reminds me more of the when the Wizard of Oz um, before she went to Oz, when the Wizard of Oz was in the field, when the when the storm was coming, and he lived in a little hut like this, I guess. That's what I'm going to call it, a hut. Anyway, it is designed to be a Valentine holding cart with a little opening at the top. Vintage caravan. Ardeen, you win it. Um, it does look like a gypsy. I think we're not using the word gypsy anymore. So, um, so I want to be cognizant of whatever. So anyway, um, yes, our Dean came up with a vintage caravan and I love it. It actually does also have, um, a place for a stair here, but I found that the way that I put it together the first time caused issues. So, um, so I might put it on after the fact. Love wagon. It's a love wagon. It's a love wagon. La 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 la. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Brad. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Jet Cal. Jet Call. And Melinda from Lynchburg, Virginia, and Susan and Sherry, good morning to all of my friends. So, um, this is Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue, in case you didn't know. Love Shack. Love Shack. Baby Love Shack. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, Love Shack, today. We're doing this Love Shack, <laughs> Gypsy, no, uh, the Vintage Love Wagon. I don't know. Anyway... This is really fun, and I'm going to show you how to make it. Although, I will say, it was a challenge, um, but I'm up for the challenge. I hope you are, too. And uh, it's going to require that you have, I think it's six sheets of cardstock. And I made mine in green, although I used the, the darker green for this. And it's going to also require that you have some glue, but also a glue gun to put the top on. What else does it require? It requires brads. Now I found these brads in among my stash. These are the heart-shaped ones. So instead of using these little hearts that are on here to cover the wagon wheels, I just chose this. So that saved me a little bit of paper, not much, but it saved me a little bit of paper. And um, you might be wondering, why am I looking at this? Well, this is something called a handbook and it's from Cricut. So way back, all right, we're talking almost 10 years ago when Cricut had other machines, they had these things called cartridges and the cartridge would go into the machine and you would tell the machine how to run or how to cut out your projects. So with these cartridges, and they were sort of like small horseshoe shapes. You might find them nowadays in like uh, stores, like thrift shop stores and such. And um, they went through this whole thing where they could be linked 
um, to your system. Nowadays, the machines do not have uh, places for you to put these cartridges in. They've gone completely digital. But back in the day, um, you still have all your cartridges in here. But I think I gave mine all away. But I had linked them all beforehand, okay? So um, so that's what you do. You kind of link them, and then you could use them online in the software that they had. Um, and and then they then came Design Space, and they digitized everything. So what what's missing um, from that sort of that move over to digital is that there were these handbooks that came inside of each um, of each cartridge. And they were not the best handbooks, but they did kind of help you sort of figure out what you're going to do. So I wanted to show you if you're ever stuck on something and you um, – you join late. <laughs> if you're ever stuck on something and you think, well, maybe there are some instructions on these things, aside from me, you know, telling you and showing you how to do this, you would simply just open up a um, a search portal of uh, window, right? And you would just go up into search window and you would type in Cricut handbooks. It's one word. All right. Cricket handbooks. Or you can put cartridge handbooks. So here you see it. It's under help.cricket.com and it says cartridge handbooks. Okay. And here is listed all of the cartridges that were created before everything got digitized, which is, is a great resource. You need to know about it because it does help you a lot. Now, not everything has a handbook, and you do need to know the name of the image set that you are using um, or you're trying to use if you want to go and look at a handbook. So here it is. These are all the handbooks, and you can scroll. There's a ton of them. You see that? There's so many. Um, and so just keep this bookmarked or something, something along those lines if you are a person who likes detailed information. I'm not saying that all this information is great because it's not always great and it's not always there, but it is a resource, okay? So we're going to be going to, let's go to Cricut. And let me go to my canvas. So we're going to be going, let's go to images and we're going to do, I hope this is going to work, image sets. No, it's not going to do it. Uh, let's go and do new images. Okay, images, image sets. Okay, and we're going to type in love is in the air and believe it or not there's quite a few things that catch that there's spring is in the air there's air balloons there's air to default content whatever that is there's anything that has the word love in it so there's corgi love so let's scroll down because these are older and older image sets always float to the bottom so we need to look for what is called love is in the air. Uh, where is it? It's going to be like the, the thing yesterday where I couldn't find the image. I don't know. All right. So where is it? Make something you love. Love is in the air. I get so excited, I guess, that I like, ah, uh, um, I can't like get over it. Anyway, so you are my love. I love you a lot, K, a lot, K. Oh, oh, like a lot, K, like a, a potato thing. Um, I love you, mom. We love the cricket cutie. I love summer. Maybe I scrolled too much. Oh, this one's cute. Love you a latte. Oh, we got to do something from that. That's older, I think. Um, and where, where, 
Where is it? Come on. I love eggs. I love penguins. I love volleyball. Where is this? Yikes. All right. I'm not seeing it. And wouldn't you know? Oh, it's at the very top. <laughs> um, it's at the very top. Here, I'm, I'm telling you. Oh, it's going to go to the bottom. But it didn't. It went to the very top. And we actually did this valentine you see that valentine with that cutesy little heart scalloped heart we did that earlier in the year i think in january um and there are a lot of really great 3d images for here in fact i'm fixing to do this uh box because i totally forgot that that box was there and i think a round box is a good thing to have sort of in your arsenal. But this is the one that we're going to do. The It's called the Wagon Cart with Hole. <laughs> it's kind of weird. The Wagon Cart with Hole Valentine. See, they even had a hard time calling it a gypsy cart. So there you go. Um, and let's see. We're going to click on it. And we're going to add this to our canvas. Now, you see, it comes in super small, and uh, there are a couple things that you can do. My thing that I always do is I will um, ungroup them, and then I will take them all and do a line, which is right here, a line center. What that does is it allows every single piece to be together in this group and we can um, do the sizing this way. So uh, this is how I normally do it. I will size it to what I think is a good size. And I think for this one, um, I think I chose like seven inches and there are a lot of little pieces. But well, let me just group this so I can just show you another way to do it. So let's go back to the images and we'll choose the cart. And now you see how it says here, it's t almost 11 inches wide and almost six inches high. And that's for all of them. It's not it's not the size of the largest piece, if that makes sense. So we're going to go to the cartridges and let's go back to the cartridges, uh, the handbooks. And we're going to be looking for Love is in the Air. It's alphabetical. So we just got to scroll, scroll, scroll. And love, 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 love you. Love is in the air. And we're going to hit open. So you see this does have a handbook. Not all of them have handbooks. So right next, right below it doesn't have a handbook. Okay. But some of them do. So we're going to go to open. And here is the handbook. Now, as I said, sometimes this information isn't helpful, but sometimes it is. So check it out if you're thinking, I can't do this. There's so many pieces and what am I going to do? Rita was wrong. How, why did she fall, lead me down this path? Oh, poor me. <laughs> um, okay. This is what you should look at. Design space size. It's saying needs to be 33.89 inches by 18.49 inches. And then the finished image height is 8 inches. So you could take this 33.89 and go here and change it up here under size. Theoretically, anyway. Let's see if it works. Yep, it works, okay? So by doing that, let's just show you, I changed that instead of this. So then let us ungroup it and um, see, we'll do a line center. And this is coming up as a width of 9.79. Now that's the largest piece, okay? So we originally, let's ungroup this. And I originally did this as, I believe, seven inches. So this is the difference between um, what I chose versus what 
uh, what is suggested. So if you really want to do this exactly as suggested, don't use my image, my thing. Instead, use the way that they um, have, let's just delete this, the way that they have set this out. So let's have a look at all the pieces. So you're going to need five different colors. There's four different colors of red or pinkish red or in the red tone, I should say. And then there's one that is green. It's like a seafoam green, which I did use Cricut um, paper for. But Cricut doesn't make uh, or it never has made um, this light pink color. They've always made like a dark pink color. So I had to go with my stash for that. So you see, I'm just peeling apart all the little pieces so you can see kind of how they go together and it won't be as overwhelming. So each, there's four wagon wheels and they each have um, a, a top and then with the spindles on there, there are uh, two hearts and a door. So here's, this is actually for the stairs. And then these pieces, let's find the windows. There's two windows that have shutters, just like that. And then the rest is uh, green, okay? So you're gonna cut all this out. Let me show you what it looks like as you're cutting it out. So you see here um, at the larger size, you will need a few more pieces of cardstock. You'll need three slices of 12 by 12 in the green. So there's one, two, three, and then a shade of red, and then a shade of pink, uh, like more like a hot pink, and then this is a light pink, and then this is red, okay? So you're gonna need seven sheets of paper to cut this out. If you have a Maker 3, you're going to wanna use this. This is your scoring, uh, your scoring wheel, and I have it on zero, point, I'm sorry, not zero point one, zero one. That is the one tip. So it only has one little rotate. It's not, by the way, it's, it won't cut you. It's just for scoring. But, um, if you don't have a maker or you don't have this tool, you can always use your scoring stylus. So there's your scoring stylus. So the only one, only machine that you would not be able to do this on without modification is the Joy because the Joy doesn't offer scoring, okay? Um, and then you would cut all of these pieces out. And that's where I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start at looking at the handbook because when I cut all these pieces out, I just had them all sort of sitting on my desk and I'm thinking, okay, this is great, but how am I going to put it together? So um, that's where the handbook really shines. And you can see... <laughs> Sorry, it's trash day. You guys, come on. Come on, you guys. All right, there you go. Thank you, Diana. I'm going to have to remember that Dream Big 2240 is uh, is Diana. Thank you. Um, I had to... I had to take off my acrylic nails and I actually ruined it here. But, um, and I, I have to use, like, I'm just using something to make it look good because they don't look good to me. Anyway, um, so here is the description. This is all the stuff you're going to cut out. And then it does give you all of these steps. Now, I went through all of these steps and there are a couple things that I'm gonna change about it. And that's why I always suggest when you're making something, make two. Because the first time you put it together, it kind of looks like crap because you're like, oh no, that doesn't go there. I mean, maybe you're better than I am, but uh, honestly, I just get like, oh no, this, mm, no, this does not look good. So um, you'll see here that it, it gives you these little instructions, but we're going to start not with this bottom piece. Instead, we're going to make the boxes first. And let me show you um, how we're gonna do it in person. So again, this is what we're making. 
And um, you'll notice it does look a little bit wobbly and I did have to take off here the stairs because as I was putting it together, I found out, no, no, I can't, I can't have this because you see this is the box here and I messed up the placement of the box, mostly because I had already put on the legs. So instead, I suggest we start with the actual box pieces, okay? So I hope you don't mind, but I did go ahead and do a little bit of, of work ahead of time. So I did put these, what do you call them, spindle spokes onto the white pieces. You know that they do have um, they do have holes in them. That's where our brads are gonna come in. Okay, and then we also have this, which is the um, door, obviously. This is a little bit of trim. And here are the windows. Look at how cute they are. And they have shutters, just like that. So cute, right? These are the uh, stair, stair, I don't know, it's a stair, okay? And here's the top. So let's move the top over here and let's just work on the green pieces. So this, as I mentioned, it's got two boxes. So originally this was designed as a uh, Valentine holder. Now, if you didn't want to have it, you just wanted to make like a little thing like this, you could remove this from your design and then just make it whatever. It's a very sturdy box. You can put whatever in it. So if you didn't have a kid or a little that needed a Valentine little box um, and you just wanted to make a cute little box, you could do this and just remove those pieces. Super easy to do. When we come back to the screen, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So let's lay out all of our little, um, our big pieces, I should say. So this is the bottom piece and you'll notice... I just, I didn't cut all the way through, but you'll notice there are these four holes right here, just like that, okay? And we're, we're actually going to do this part last. So then we also have these two pieces with this arch shape. This is going to be the top of the box, okay? The top part where it's going to get all decorated. And then these four pieces are the bottom of the box. So you'll see that there's two different uh, types here. This one has tabs, this does not. So let's do the bottom box first and get that out of the way. So you'll see that there are four pieces and you're gonna lay them down uh, like, how are we laying these down? We're laying these down uh, yeah, no, that doesn't work. Oh, maybe they go this way? Um, oh, you guys, I'm going to have to check the notes. Let's go back and check the notes. Um, so let's look at the notes. Okay, so this is... Okay, so there are our four pieces, and they're all the same, and okay... I messed up. So sorry. Let's go back and have a look. <laughs> oh, you guys. How do you put up with me? All right. So it's saying here, this is the bottom, right? I know that. And then over here, it's saying I need four pieces. And two of them, they're going to be the same size. And two of them are going to go together. But... Two of them, I see. Okay, all right, so here we go. So we've got these two small pieces, you see, and what am I, what am I doing? Hold on, let's check this. Okay, I thought that they were the same size, but they're not. Okay, so we've got these two pieces and these two pieces. So two of the same. And then there is going to be these tabs here. That's how you're going to connect them, okay? So 
Um, definitely score everything. So you see I scored it both ways. And now I'm going to glue this together like this. So see, having the the um, having the instructions handy is a good thing, even for somebody who's already put this together. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so we're using the tabs and putting these together like this. When we work 3D, we kind of, you, you have this desire to pick it up, but it's best to work flat on your surface because when you're making like squarish things, they'll all sort of go together. And I'll explain to you what I mean in a second. So I'm gluing these tabs just like this. All right, and let's fold. And you see, we want this to be lined up. That's why we do this on a flat surface. Then we're gonna tuck in this tab like this and glue and place. Okay. All right, here we are. All right, when, it, when the glue finally takes, it does take a second, you can open it up and then here you go. Here are the tabs. These tabs are gonna go on the platform piece. So you see why I didn't want to um, put this together because I wanted to be able to place this exactly where I wanted it. So that's what I wanna do. And now I'm folding in those tabs and I'm gonna glue them each like this. This kind of reminds me of a dreaming tree file because they have a lot of tabs in dreaming tree files. So um, there we go. So we're going to take our little platform and I'm just going to place it. I'm going to try to place it with the same amount on either side. And if it's helpful, you can take whatever, your glue bottle or whatever, and make sure those tabs, or you can put your hand in there, of course. But make sure those tabs are really well on there where you want them. Actually, this is not not the best placement. I should have looked at it from above. But you kind of want to leave the same amount of space on either side. Now, at this point, you can do the platform and the wheels. So let's go ahead and do the platform. And I'm just taking these little tiny tabs and sort of folding them in like this. And it's a good idea when you are doing anything that's 3D that you, when you're scoring it all like after the, you've run it through the machine that you have you have folded that score a couple of times back and forth because otherwise you might get a little bit at the in the middle that's not quite straight I hope that makes sense so that's what I would do make sure that this is folded uh, very well and here is the other half and I'm working again on a flat surface. And you can put your fingers in here and hold it. Just takes a second for it to set. And this one. All right. Okay, so now we have a box on another box, on an inverted box, right? It's gonna come together, don't worry. Now we take our four uh, wheels, wagon wheels, and you see these holes in there? Well, we're gonna be using this, it's called a brad. Now you, can, you might remember these from grade school, but um, they have all kinds of fancy ones. And whenever I'm in the store, I always pick up a bunch because uh, they're inexpensive with like two bucks and you get like 80 to 100 pieces. So there's pink, 
there's purple, there's white. This is what you might be familiar with if you're not into brads. This is kind of a standard one that I popped in here. Actually, there's a couple in here. So we could use the standard ones, but let's use the hearts because they're fun. And we're going to put in, uh, let's try, this is the red, okay? So you put in the, um, the brad and on the back, it has like a little wing. You see, let's get up close so you can see what I'm talking about. And then we're going to place it through the hole and then turn it upside down. And so you just open up those little wings. I call them wings. I don't know what they are. But you see it allows movement on the wagon wheel. And it's always nice to have wheels that move even though you're not going to be taking this for a ride somewhere it's just kind of cute because people always go do the wheels move and you can say yes they do try them out and they will so there we're going to do that in all four of the corners mm -mm -mm. two and then again the brad goes in put it through the hole all right, you got these movies, moving legs or whatever, moving parts, wheels. All right, and let's see, I wanna make sure both of the, so there's what it looks like from the bottom, and here is what it looks like from the top. And yes, they do move. I mean, clearly it's not a, it's not a, an actual vehicle, but that's your base. You're halfway done at this point. Isn't that great? And you're like, oh, okay, now I get it, Rita. So we're gonna take our little brads, put them all back, and we'll get to working on the other box. Okay, yeah, let's just put all those away. So now here is for the top part, this part, okay? So, um, here is the, here are the pieces that you're gonna put together. So this is, obviously that's gonna be the side and then we're gonna put them together like this. One, two, one, two, okay? I don't know that that makes a difference. And where's my glue? Okay, so, Put these together. There is sometimes when you're working with cardstock, there sometimes is a front and a back to the to the cardstock. And when you are working on projects like these, it's important to know which side you actually uh, cut it on. Did you cut it on the uh, rough side? This has like a texture versus the smooth side and it will help you sort of piece together pieces that you can't seem to fit now if a piece is like the wrong going the wrong way it might cause an issue with the tabs is what i'm saying okay so consider that i've done that a couple of times and learned my lesson had to take it apart all right so we did this all straight or as straight as I could. I'm going to try and make sure that it's as straight as it can be like this. So I'm going to glue this side piece on the flat bit like this. Okay. So once that's together, you can sort of move it around. And there is your piece. We're going to decorate this piece. This is the piece that we're going to decorate. And so we need these little pieces. Here, where are they? Where are they? Move these out of the way. Okay. So we've got a cute little trim. Now this is something I didn't expect, but um, what I found out was the trim is not really going to fit all around correctly. So what I chose to do was, because I wanted it to look nice, I just chose um, to 
to uh, do it halfway at the halfway point like this, okay? And so you'll see what I'm doing in a second. I'm going to put all of the glue, all of it on the glue, but I'm going to come in here at the halfway point and place this. Now there will be a little place where um, on the on the one side where there is the door that doesn't need that trim, if that makes sense. So on this side, I'm gonna put this one right on top, okay? So there's a continuity um, to the trim. Now there are a lot of different variables or things that you could change here. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. You know, if you wanted to use some glitter, um, or some, oh, I don't know, fancy different techniques. And I'd love to see what yours look like. Now, I know that there's this hole here in the trim. That's okay, because we're going to put our door over it, okay? All right, here we go. All right. Now we can put our windows on. And I made a mistake the first time I did this. I put the windows too high. The windows are supposed to be down low so that this piece at the top looks, um, looks right, okay? So just go ahead and glue those on to the trim. I think they're a little bit low, but it doesn't work when they're higher. So there you go. Do, do, do. And then this side. You could even cut out an extra window if you wanted to for the back. All right. Getting there, you guys. All right. Okay. So that is this piece all done. So let's take this and sort of put it on there to make sure that it's gonna fit. And, ooh, mine's a little tight. Okay, here we go. Press down, get the wagon wheels out of the way. Okay, so look at that, almost done. Now I won't lie to you, the second part the part of the, the ending part is a little bit more difficult, so don't freak out. Um, but it does require a glue gun and, um, and also a little patience with the gluing. So you see here, this is a very thin tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually place this as close as we can to around this arch on either side. It's going to create a little base that we're going to then glue the top onto. This is a little difficult. I'm not going to lie to you. So I think it's probably easier. First off, make sure you have really scored this paper and folded it because you want it to be a little more pliable and sometimes when you play with the paper a little bit the fibers give way a, a little bit and makes it a little more pliable so that is the first thing and the second thing is patience my dear patience patience so this is going to go on this way and it's going to get moved over there. And this is the top where we're going to have the placement, okay, for the, for the top. So we're going to glue all these little tabs. And you might find you have to move around with this is all I'm saying. So I'm going to start it right here. 
on that corner. It's okay that it's sticking up because it's going to move. And then working from the front, I can then start putting in the next tab, trying to get real close. Now, I'm not sure if this is showing, um, if this is showing all of the, uh, what I'm saying, I'm not sure if this is, oh, showing on the camera too well. So I'll try to move it around so you can see what I'm doing. But you see, I suppose I could try to do it laying this way. That might work. But it just takes patience, my dear. It just takes patience is all. All right. So here we go. And then you have to do it the second time. Tabs. I love tabs, but this is a hard one. i just be honest with you. So be patient, and if you flub up, then just do it over. You could probably peel it off and do it over. So, again, we're going to make sure that these tabs are well and truly folded so that we can manipulate the paper a little bit better and then we're going to run our fingers to sort of give it a curve already give it an advantage already and then glue these tabs and you're gluing on the top of the cutout if that makes sense that makes sense okay and then we're going to take and put now this reminds me this project or doing these tabs remind me of those life-size pumpkins we did from svg cuts and um i just love and i mean i'm again i like tabs and everything but i oh my god i love that file i could make those every year in every color um they're just fun they're fun to make in like a cream color. Just fun. Okay. All right. Try to do your best. Just do your best. And don't kick yourself if you don't do it right the first time. That's why I do it twice. Okay. So there is that. Let's take and put this on. And now we just have to do the stairs and the top. I'm going to save the stairs for the very end. Okay. So there it is. Isn't that cute? So cute. Woo. All right. So the top, I will tell you, you're going to need a glue gun for. So I've got my Cricut glue gun that I'm going to plug in. So there's two pieces to the top. If you glue them together at the beginning, uh, it becomes hard to do this part. That's why instead, before I, before I glue them together, I want to get as best as I can without folding it, give this piece that curve, okay? Oh, thank you right so we're going to do a curve like this and then the the roof is going to sit all along here okay and then i mean you could glue these together right now in fact i might just but you really need to work this paper um you really need to kind of give it some movement or some curve to it so let's do that we'll apply this because there's a lot of detail on this you see it didn't cut well this is not Cricut cardstock and I don't even know what this cardstock is actually this might be Cricut cardstock I don't know you know what I didn't change my blade again what is going on you guys I keep forgetting every first of the month that I change my blade so I've got to do that. And we're just making sure these little pieces of these swirls are going to stick down 
because we don't want them to pop up. So as I was doing this yesterday, I was thinking about how I used to do all these like Dreaming Tree files, SVG cuts and such. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those people, but um, I'm so happy that when my contract, it's not really, I guess it's a contract, is over. Whoops, did I do this right? Yeah, but this doesn't look right. Nah, that's weird. Okay, it's weird, but we're going to use it. So we're giving it still this nice curly Q bit. And we are going to, let's take it off of the wheels to make it easier. We're going to glue both of these at the same time and then carefully place it on um, on top. Yeah, so um, people like Leo and Mary from SVG Cuts. I was thinking even Laurie Whitlock because I am... Uh, I've been a subscriber of hers for, I don't know, 10 years. There's Leah Griffin and all of those other things, like flowers and stuff. So, um, so yeah, I can't wait to do those projects. Plus, there are a number of really uh, great designers that don't charge. Remember Crafting with Sarah? I mean, she charges for some, but not the others. Or maybe you bought a file, or maybe we buy a file on Etsy. But what I was thinking of doing is to have a Zoom with all of us together, um, and, and everybody can get on the Zoom. And we would put together one of those and we, I don't know, would we put it on the internet? Maybe. Would we put it on YouTube? We could possibly. Um, there's that thought. But anyway, think about that if you guys want to try that. So we'd, we'd make it a, we'd make like a decision. Okay, we're going to do this from that package and we'll maybe only do one at a time. That sort of thing. Hi, Babs. Hey, Babs, you um, did your uh, things arrive? Your your machine did it arrive? I I saw that the it was delivered. Um, so. Yeah. So yeah, the guy that I'm talking about is Leo. He runs a company called Dreaming Tree, which is 3dsvg.com. And in the past, he's given us like some gift cards to work with and we've given them out. So I was thinking, why don't we do a sort of a private event? Well, I mean, you'd have to have purchased the image. So maybe we just make it for people who purchased, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like I'd like for you to come on and put it together with me is what I'm saying. That's what I was thinking. Um, and I don't know, maybe I'm talking too much because look, I'm going to put this on here. Not quite. All right. You guys know I'm not super handy with the glue gun. So I might have to come back and sort of shore up those ends a little bit like this be careful because that's open <laughs> that's open piece and you could get a, a little bit of a glue gun burn nobody ever talks about the glue gun burns um there's even uh, there are a uh, lots of designers on the internet even like if you want to go to etsy or you just want to do a search you can find some pretty cool things and they're complex. Some of the, you know, you sort of get what you pay for. So if you want to do a really large project, say a windmill or something, um, you might have to pay for that. You know what I mean? I used to love it when you did the 3D projects from Dreaming Tree. Yeah, so I, I don't know. You would have to purchase them, you know? Okay, all right. Because I know in the past people are like, no, I don't, I don't want to purchase 
I just want to do the free stuff or I have had, you know, people like just focus on cricket access, which is what we've done in the last three years. I mean, we've just been doing cricket access pretty much nonstop. So I think getting other designers involved is going to be a lot of fun for me and I hope for you. So do you see what I'm doing here? I'm just going to, I'm going to put a little tiny bit more glue in here and then get my fingers up in here. I suppose I could do it from the bottom inside, but I need for it to curve. So this part is the hardest part, just so that you know, because there's a chance that you might get burned <laughs> from the glue. From the glue. So what's going on with me? What's going on with that? So tomorrow we're just going to, we're going to do a card tomorrow um, because I'm getting ready. I've got a couple of huge meetings and then on Thursday I've got my scans. So I want to just do something easy tomorrow and I hope that's okay. And I will not be here on Thursday, but then I'll be back on Friday for our joyful Friday. Let's see how this looks. We got one more tiny little step we have to do, and that is the step. That's our step is our step. So um, you can choose to leave this off because, frankly, this is not a very large step to step down. I know, I do. Um, so so uh, here it is, pretty much done, but I'm going to show you the last part. So these are the stairs. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue, it's actually one stair. So you're gonna glue the stair together like this. But don't just do the middle part because then you're gonna open up the ends to create tabs. There you go. All right. And then here are the, what do you call these? The rails. And you'll note that they are uh, angled. All right. So let's take the top off and see if I can get this right. But these are going to go like one, Two, I think, maybe, Let's see if that's right. Nope, one, two. All right, let's try that. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on there. You guys know I'm not a big, huge glue gun, glue gun person. So this is, this is hard. This is the hard part, I should say. No, it's not the hard part. It's the one that you have to pay attention to part. Okay, so here's my other side. Now I need to make this as big as that. So I want to do it. <laughs> Susan, <laughs> you're funny. Even my family thinks they're funny, you know, uh, with the nibbling. It's like they want to play, um, but they're not. They don't have opposable thumbs, so they can't play. All right, so there you see. And then how are we going to do this? Should we do a glue gun or liquid glue? I think. Hmm. This and this. Yeah? Now let's do glue gun. Let's try that. All right. And then what else we got going on? Oh, I have so much stock coming in from, uh, let's see, scrapbook.com. And where else have I purchased from? Michaels, of course. And then I have um, 
Ranger ink. So if you guys are interested in ink and in inking, and we're going to be doing some stuff with inking. Now, look at this. This is on correctly, but it makes the bottom or the back a little bit high up. I, I suppose that's okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's maybe it's not supposed to be straight. I don't know. I don't have an RV. Anyway, so we'd put this on top of here and you can give this to a friend uh, that may be in grade school and they do still do Valentine's. Oh, I wish I was that young again. Oh, I wish I was that young again. Oh, well, why am I having a hard time? Anyway, um, there you go. So I was thinking like date night would be about something. We could do it on a date night because you won't be able to complete those 3D projects. Now, I mean, I'm I'm over my usual 45 minutes. So um, because we did this 3D project, we didn't even cut anything out. So um, so it would need to be on a special time and a place that we can do that. So you guys let me know in the comments. All right. And there is our little Valentine wagon. It's a vintage Valentine wagon. I've made two of them. I don't know. I'm going to have to give. My son would never go for this. But I think that my mom might like it. She loves all these little things. And uh, if you wanted to. Oh, I know I want to need to do. Yeah, you would need you would need uh, to pre-cut everything if we decided to do that. And we can maybe have like a, pr a preview, uh, like a before you cut it out, you know. We'd have to really think it through. Um, anyway, so with this, just so that you know, if you wanted to get rid of the slit altogether, this is such an easy trick. You're going to select the image and you're going to come down here all the way down the corner, you probably can't see because I changed this, right? Right there, corn corner, by, Chris, by Constance. And you're going to do uh, contour and then just click on that. And then, boom, no more slit in there. So if you wanted to make this, say, for your mom or your sweetheart, and you didn't want to have this hole in there, that's all you'd have to do. So easy. So there you go, guys. There is my 3D version of this. Again, it is available in Design Space. I have made some changes to it. You can come and get my file. It is listed. Let's just check my stuff. It is here somewhere. There it is. It's called the 3D Valentine Mailbox with Removable Top. There it is. It is public. Now, remember, today, if you are, are a late crafter, today is your last day to get your entry in for this quarter's community challenge. If you don't know what that is, check me out on Facebook or on YouTube for community it's called the Community Create Challenge, CCC, Community Create Challenge. Um, and you can find out all about it. But today, Tuesday, the 7th, I believe, is the last day. And they will make announcements on who won in a, at least a week so that you know. Okay, um, that's it for me for today. Oh, thank you, Loretta. You did. Um and and uh, that's it for me for today. I will see you again tomorrow. I'm trying to think what card I want to do. And I have like so many cards that I want to do that uh, I get a little bit like, ah, there's not enough time until, <laughs> until Valentine's Day. I need more time. 60 days, not even 60 days, like 45 days is definitely not enough time to do all this fun Valentine-y stuff. And uh, plus I like to once in a while repeat things. So I think tomorrow we're going to be doing my cherry card. It's called a cherry. You're the cherry on top of everything, I think, or you're the, maybe it's just, you're the cherry. So, or you could just type in cherry. Let's see if that works. 
cherry. Here it is. So we're going to be doing You're the Cherry on Top square card with an envelope. We're going to use some patterned paper to make that. It was so popular last year that um, I wanted to show you. And there are two different sentiments that you can do to make this card. So easy. All right. All right, you guys, have a great day, and I'll see you again tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Thanks for watching, and keep those fingers moving. Keep the, I'm still trying to find my, like, you know, like, Julia Child says, bon appetit, and I almost want to say, um, idle hands are the devil's playthings. <laughs> I don't know what I want to say. You have to come up with, you guys are the ones that came up with the name of the group, which is uh, Crafting Adventures with Miss Rita and Friends. Um, so I need I need a new idea for a sign-off. I need you to, guys to, um, to give me that. All right? I love y'all and have a great, I'm out of here, okay? <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.